All right, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to create threads in Tinkercad, as if you want to create some type of cap uh, or lid that could screw on or thread onto a shape. So I'm going to take a cylinder here, and I'm just going to make the cylinder bigger. You should approximately know, you know what size you want all this to be. So let's just say I'm going to make a 60 millimeter size jar. Uh, and then we're going to go, we're going to hit our basics shapes here, and we're going to go down to the featured shape generators. And one of the featured shapes is the isometric thread. So I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to drag it to be a little bit larger. And just want to make sure that it fits. So I'm, I'm going to make this, let's see, let's make this 55 by 55. Okay. And when you click on the threads, you have a lot of settings that you can play with. So you can play with your diameter, right, which would change your overall radius um, as you want. I'm going to put that back to 55, though. Um, you could also change with your, your pitch. So that's the actual height and angle and things like that. You could change how many segments you want. I would go 32. That makes it a lot smoother. You can change rotations, right, how many, again, vertically, rotations, whatever, I'm gonna go with three. Scale and tip segments don't necessarily do a whole lot for 3D printing, and then thread scale is kind of the thickness of the threads. Leave that one for this first part here. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to turn this thread, this guy, uh, we're gonna duplicate it, so we have a copy of it off the side, and we're gonna turn one of them into a hole. Now using the align tool, I'm going to align that thread with my orange cylinder, okay? And I'm gonna move the thread down just so the first thread has an exit point like so. All right, so then that way it will actually allow us to uh, screw and thread the cap in here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and group these two shapes together. So we can see that the thread starts and allows us to thread in. Okay. And then for this guy, if I take this, we're going to use the align tool to align our thread together. And I'm going to move this down so my thread lines up with the cut that we made. Okay. And I'm just going to make this orange cylinder transparent so you can see what we got going on here. If we look, the gray thread is sitting perfectly inside of the cut threads. If I lift this up, you can see how there's my cut threads and my gray threads are sitting perfectly in there. That, in theory, is a perfect fit. However, it's actually too tight for us to 3D print. It would be, the plastic would shrink and that would not fit together. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on our gray threads here and we're gonna play with these settings. I'm gonna take the diameter and I'm gonna step it down a couple notches, like there, so now my threads aren't colliding with the outer part. And I'm gonna take my thread scale and knock that down a little bit too, so that's the height of the threads. I'm leaving the pitch, the segments, all that has, to, and the rotations has to stay the same, so that way the threads still fit. But now by changing the thread scale and the diameter, those threads are going to now fit smoothly inside of my bottom cylinder. I'm just going to grab a, another basic shape, another cylinder here. And I think, what did I make it? I made it 60 for the diameter of the bottom cylinder. This, something like that. Pull this up. Let's just go ahead and use our align tools here. I'm going to take my new lid and mash it so it fits. And I'm going to select, I'm just going to move this guy out of the way, these two guys here, and group them together. Let's change the color and make it transparent. And if I select both of these and align, we should see that our threads line up, mash together, but do not collide. 